Hello, Westside Church. Well, hey, uh, we are continuing through our series on the weekend through the book of Romans. And I would encourage you, if you have not been following along, uh, take the time, go back to the website, uh, catch up on these messages. The book of Romans is one of the most unbelievably uh, powerful and complete works related to salvation and life and freedom in Christ. And uh, so don't miss that on the weekends. And uh, on our daily devotions, we're also walking through uh, the entire book of Romans. And uh, this week we've been looking at uh, purpose, especially related to how God uh, was moving with the Israelites, with Gentiles and the gospel coming to the Gentiles, non-Jewish people, uh, and the rifts that came between the Jewish people and the non-Jewish people, and who should be in, who should be out, and different lifestyle and, and social norms and all kinds of things that separated these two people groups, and yet God was working to save all of them. And Paul is writing to try to bring uh, unity and reconciliation and help uh, both Jewish and Gentile believers uh, major on the majors, focus on the things that mattered most and not get caught up in who was in, who was out, who's doing the right or wrong thing, uh, helping them see that uh, a life of grace and uh, living out the ways of Jesus would bring far more change than their ability to try and judge and manage uh, each other's uh, beliefs and lifestyles and all those things. So we're going to take a quick look at uh, the latter part of chapter 11. Verses 23, uh, sorry, 25 through 29. And again, I'd encourage you today, take a moment, read chapter 11, really think it through. Uh, maybe read it in a couple different uh, translations. Today I'm going to read through the message uh, because it's a little easier to, on the surface, kind of grasp what's happening there. But again, uh, read a couple different versions, maybe uh, the message, NIV, uh, English Standard Version, whatever. Uh, compare them side by side. It's amazing the different insights that come out. All right, let's dive in. Uh, chapter 11, verse 25 through 26 is what I'm actually going to read. Uh, and it says, I want to lay all this out on the table as clearly as I can, friends. This is complicated. Say that again. This is complicated. So true. Life, faith, doing this together. It's, it's complicated. Paul goes on, he says, it'd be easy to miss uh, interpret what's going on and arrogantly assume that your royalty, he's speaking to the Gentiles here, and their just rabble, speaking of the Jewish uh, followers of God, out on their ears for good. But that's not it at all. This hardness on the part of the insider Israel towards God is temporary. Its effect, listen, is to open things up to all the outsiders so that we end up with a full House. And Paul is reminding Gentile believers who are, who are kind of reveling in the fact that they follow Jesus and the, the Jewish uh, followers of God uh, are not accepting the Messiah and so they're out and the Gentiles are getting a little haughty about it. And Paul's reminding them, hey, this is way more complicated, way more nuanced. God will handle all of that. You just focus on Christ, focus on humility, grace, unity, those kinds of things. And it's really a powerful thing. Uh, the Apostle Peter writes in his letter, uh, he says, uh, talks about uh, God being patient. He's not slow in keeping his promises, but being patient, wanting, uh, uh, not wanting any to perish, but all to come to salvation. And again, it reinforces that this picture that Paul is painting, that, hey, God is doing something bigger than just what we're experiencing. He, his purposes are for the salvation of mankind. And it's much, much complicated that you and I uh, were ever designed to manage or handle on our own. And Paul's saying, hey, leave the big heavy lifting to God. You focus on love. Uh, you know, you think of Paul's list in Galatians uh, of the fruits of the Holy Spirit. It's as if he's telling these Gentile believers, listen, you've got enough to handle, to focus on in your own walk and growth. Focus on growing in the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. Boy, that's, that's enough in itself for a lifetime. Don't worry about also trying to figure out who's in, who's out, who should or shouldn't be in or out. God has got that bigger picture in, in mind. He's working with purpose and in power to transform human hearts and minds in ways that none of us could do. And I love what that uh, does for us as followers of Christ today in terms of reminding us that in a society that has all kinds of factions and beliefs and, and uh, diversity across the board of all kinds of things, uh, maybe it's not quite our job to fix everybody and manage everybody. Maybe the focus should be on ourselves and allowing the Holy Spirit to move out of us the way that He wants to so that He can bring the change He wants to internally 
and we don't have to go into the sin management game uh, with everyone around us. I hope that's encouraging to you. I hope it challenges you uh, as it does me, and uh, we will see you soon. Thank you.